Rupal Rajani. BBC Radio Leicester. Here's a question for you. What are your thoughts on beauty pageants? I'm not your average beauty queen. I've had a few friends that didn't speak to me. I do think they are sexist. I think they reinforce very particular ideals about womanhood and femininity. If you're going to protest about, you know, being degrading to women, I think you should get your facts right. Mm, what do you think? Is it all about having a pretty face? Is it something that is seen as degrading to women? Well, this is something that Bugar News uh, has actually been investigating over the past uh, months. They've actually followed the famous Miss England pageant and getting to know some of the girls that dream of winning the title. Well, Ramel Gulzar is uh, in the studio to tell us a little bit about uh, the documentary that uh, they've put together and something that you will be able to see very soon at Curve here in Leicester. Ramel, why why beauty pageants? Why was this something that Bukhara News wanted to get involved in and talk about? Uh, Rupal, thank you very much for giving us this chance to talk about uh, beauty pageants. A very good question and interesting. Over the years, we're covering beauty pageants in Leicester take place, uh, like uh, such as Miss Leicestershire and Miss England. And in the past, in the Britain, this is a kind of huge uh, uh, popular event and from all the mainstream TV and certainly it's a despair and the media was talking about different kind of uh, uh, article or editorial. So we was following the past as in uh, kind of as a news um, man. So just I come up with the idea why is let's go really really behind the scene a, what is the reason is drop off from whole certainly from the mainstream and secondly why is it still kind of hundreds of thousands of girls and 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 uh, boys are follow this pageant. What is this? What what is all about? And I was very keen because I uh, come from the Asian culture background, and I know Miss World and in our Bollywood culture is, is huge. And that's wow, well, this is kind of something's different. And uh, that's uh, made me to really decide. Then I sit down with the team and come up rather than doing a news piece or news package. Let's spend some time. Then of course uh, we have to be get permission from. Uh, and G. Beasley from the one of the director for Miss England and say, look, we have to be uh, come this year in a different way on, on board. And firstly, uh, she was not that much keen because she think always media talk about country virtual or going something. Then we said, really, we want to go behind the scene. We want to be follow every step and watch things go. And we at least we were over six month journey. We followed Miss England and we were flown to Sri Lanka where they end up all the winners. So... Wow. Um, it's such as kind of uh, so much work go behind the scene and no one realize and no one talking about it. And it's not about kind of just being uh, as uh, you come on the day and see catwalk and uh, come and run glamour outfits and just have a nice meal and just go. And really, really Rupal, amazing. And when you can't talk about but, uh, why we went, I, I can open invitation to everybody coming along and to see this uh, documentary we made uh, uh, on 3rd of May at the Curve. You can realize really hard work we put on on this, uh, on pageants. Um, but what were these women saying to you what were the women saying you know about about beauty pageants we talk you know I mean that's a clip from your documentary that, that I just ran and you're mm -hmm. going to hear from from uh, Krishna yeah. somebody that you interviewed there what what were they saying though at the beginning to you and then by the end of the the, the documentary did you did you have a different attitude to Beauty Def pageants? Definitely, we have. A, we follow about around over ten girls, but then we didn't feature. I mean, everybody, but then have a, most of them are features, and everybody have a different story to tell. Everybody different opinion. And let's talk about Krishna. And Krishna is come from Asian background, and the parents are very, very kind of uh, uh, know as used to be a beauty pageant, and especially Asian female go out and about and, and uh, doing a catwalk, and uh, and is kind of a beach beauty uh, round. So uh, th that's really uh, struck me when we um, uh, managed to speak to uh, Krishna's parents and there was a totally, totally engaged in the beginning. And then we go through with their whole procedure how that can work. And she's really positive and they can tell me that Krishna's attitude in her personal life has been changed and confidence has been built in a daily life, not only just on the day coming in, not about winning or losing. And I was always thinking myself, being a have to be a pretty female, so that's only can be. But no, there is interesting stories. You have to not only just you need a, just a pretty face and to go and have a pretty outfit 
Well, let, let, let's hear Krishna's, um, you know, take on, mm-hmm. uh, on this at the very beginning when you speak to her. I want to build other girls' self-confidence, other dark-skinned girls, because um, fairer-skinned girls are always put in the limelight, and I just wanted to show them that a darker-skinned girl can also do just as well as anyone that's fair-skinned. I showed them exactly what Miss England was really about. I showed them all the charity work that all of the girls do, all of the hard work that we all put in. And I showed her that it wasn't just girls walking around in bikinis. I tried to show them that there is so much more to it. And a lot of the girls put in a lot of hard work. A lot of money is raised for charity and we do make a difference. Mm, so they do make a difference. There's a lot of hard work, you know, that goes into it. And it's not just about having a pretty face. But sh- she also wanted to sort of challenge those sort of um, uh, issues, cultural issues as well. <laughs> so there's lots, you know, going on there. But doesn't it still degrade women, Ramel? OK, I'm not in that, 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 that position to say I think so is the best to people come and see and watch. And I'm not there. People who have a, like a thinking of... Uh, a stereotype or they're not like this pageant I think so we are not uh, promoting them I think so we're challenging them and we're very open uh, once again open invitation come in and see this documentary and what's go behind the scene and we are really challenging them and I, I'm not in this position to uh, to my opinion let them people judge and watch you you also um, followed Ho- Holly Desai as yeah, well yeah she's uh, Miss was Miss Leicestershire she, one was, of, she yeah. was Miss Leicestershire yeah. so does she feature in the documentary too? she's featured in the documentaries as well and what was her perspective on, on the whole? Uh, as, as you say, uh, one of them, I can't give much away, but one of them really was chatting with her, kind of spending whole day. And I asked uh, her, Holly, when you came up, Miss, uh, Miss Leicestershire, how's your response, your, especially your friends? And she says some of them friends are uh, stopped speaking to her, talking to her, because they think, oh, you are the prettiest one. But it's not about, again, it's not about a pretty face, it's not about glamour, it's about what hard work you put in and your daily life. She's, that time she's working full time and then she's studying as well and then she's doing a beauty pageant and then raising fundraising uh, for uh, beauty with purpose for charity and so much hard work and it just uh, um uh, when I uh, spoke to her a day later and I said, well, why why is beauty pageant? Why, you know, find other way to fundraise? There is out there so many charity. Why did you choose this? And it's A, is really enjoy it. B, they are really making a difference. And uh, that's the difference when we spend over six months uh, following that whole beauty pageant, personal life stories, people who is in the feature, spending hours and hours with the uh, Miss England's doctor, Angie Beasley. And it's amazing. It's just, uh, it's not really, really... Uh, just a, like a uh, uh, catwalk is more than that and what and, and it's something you've got to see and make up your own mind about exactly Ramel. so where, where and when can people see it people can come into the curve theater leicester which is third of may in six thirty, and they can uh tickets i think so online they can buy online and buy on the phone as well from curve uh which is um at website is www.curveonline.co.uk and they come and say we are challenging them again this is a we documentary is not a promoting beauty pageant or we're just challenging those who have a really stereotype or, or or they have a different opinion and we are happy to take that challenge come and see and tell us miss england a serious business is what it's called and you can see that at the curve theater on the 3rd of may you make your own mind up says uh, ramal who uh, is the documentary maker uh, of uh, this program if you want to find out more get in touch with the curve for more details the 3rd of may uh, ramal thank you very much indeed for joining me on the program uh, ramal goes up from uh, bugar news here in leicester of course hope you had a great good easter as well you managed to have a bit of um, a break a- a really good Easter. I had a break, but Sunday was back to work. What happened in Pakistan? And and it just we didn't recover yet from the Brussels, and then no happened in Pakistan. So, but life must go on. Yeah. Well, look, Ramel, thank you. thank you so much for joining me on the show. Ramel Gulzar here on BBC Radio Leicester. Nine.